you so close to me Living like we supposed to be So baby won't change me Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna consist of Yeah, I'm super excited. Everything is on my table right now. So I'm just like super excited to show you guys. Let's just get to it. Whoa, my face went super dark. I don't know what happened there. So we'll start off with the lip section um, because I don't want my intro to be super long because we all know how long my intros can be. We all know I am excited about this collection. We all know that I did get this collection very recently, but it wasn't actually bought by me. It was given to me by my special someone. Um, of course... I, I mean, I was hoping, you know, my special someone would be Desi and Katie, just saying. I'm just kidding. But the one that's currently on my lips right now is the matte liquid lipstick in Sauvage. Keep in mind, with liquid lipsticks like this, um, in ex this specific, like, shade of colors, um for example the darker shades if you tend to rub your lips together um, especially when it's in the process of drying you will definitely get the butthole lips that just kind of is inevitable when it comes to deeper shades like burgundies maroons and like you know the ramby colors especially the Marimo London lipsticks you guys saw the video if not then I would suggest highly checking that out because you guys will see what kind of drugstore makeup puts out there nowadays um, or what they try to put out there nowadays. If I were to I press my lips together while in the process of drying it does kind of have that fade in the middle of the lips which is known as the butthole lips. Overall though the color this is my jam. I would wear this all year round. We all know this. But of course, this look that I was achieving was more so for an autumn fall look. And this is a perfect collection for that transition to fall. So it's a very beautiful, like deep in red burgundy wine color. Yep, a super like vampy color. Yep, that's totally up my alley. It's like the in between of Kat Von D's Exorcism and Vampira. That is, yep, yeah, that is, that's for me. The next color I have here is Hot Fire. And yes, I have been on the search. Actually, I have a lot of liquid lipsticks. I didn't realize that were, like, in the shade range of the Hot Fire, which is, like, that neon, like, well, not maybe neon, but it's just a very vibrant, hot, red, orange, or red, or orange, red. So, I love colors like that. I would rock that again all year long. I just couldn't find the right one for me, and hopefully this fits my skin tone. I mean, it fit Desi's and Katie's, and I'm like literally in between their skin, so and hopefully it, it will work out for me. Let's do. Let's hope. The other lip product, uh, I cannot wait to try this, but I obviously didn't want to put this over my uh, burgundy lips, but. In the picture, you guys, I will show like a lot of screenshots or like close-up shots. You guys will see that you can even like the detail to this like gold glitter flex. It's amazing. Like you can actually see the little swirls in it in the video that I'm about to like. I've, it's probably showing right now as we speak. Um, but oh, it's amazing. I already I loved a dose of colors matte liquid lipstick. So I know for sure I was gonna get regardless of the colors. I was just gonna get them because it's Desi and Katie. The smell of the dose of colors um, over the top a lip gloss. That's what it's called. It is kind of it reminds me of a Mac lip gloss. So it has that like buttercream vanilla scent to it, but it's not overpoweringly buttercream vanilla if that makes sense. So I love that. I mean. That is up my alley. The first kind of high-end lipsticks that I started carrying in my collection was MAC, and I just, I love that. The next uh, lippy products that I'm showing here is the Dose of Colors, again, the color More Creamer Please, and it is just their traditional lipstick form here. Um, I'm more than happy to swatch it, so, because I'm going to end up using it someday, right? This one has more of that, oh, so pretty! But I just love the packaging on this. It's just amazing. And again, reminds me, the smell reminds me of the MAC lipsticks, which a lot of us love. So, yeah, I just, 
it's just that beautiful perfect nude color like that orangey nude it's I mean, you know you guys know what I'm talking about and I'm sure they talked about it more so on the review. They're obviously more detailed about the product, so. But, of course, in person, in my opinion, if my opinion matters, More Creamer Please, the name of the lipstick, More Creamer Please, has more of that, again, orangey, peachy nude. This one is called No Shade, and this one pretty much has no shade, it feels like. But it's a nude, obviously. It reminds me of like stark naked or naked from Urban Decay, but it's just you know a very pastel again, sort of on that peachy side type of nude, but a brighter or a lighter peach tone. So this would like be a perfect Desi, and this would be a perfect Katie nude type of nude. All right, onto their highlighters. I am currently wearing one right now, and the color that I'm wearing is the color that not everyone was going towards at first. I know everyone wanted that lighter shade, um, but I wanted a test of waters and try this one out first. It is in the shade Mirami, and it is this at first, when you take a look at it, it almost looks a, a bronze. I was kind of like, oh, that might be too dark for me. Like, that looks like a bronzer. Well, not bronzer, but I mean, like, a highlight bronzer type of thing. But once I put it on, I, I, my skin tone is a, like, golden medium tone. Um, can be a light medium golden tone, depending if I, you know, get darker or not. But the color that pulls off on my skin tone in case you have again my skin tone my skin tone is again in between Katie and Desi's so I am again that light medium golden tone or like olive tone shade it honestly the color that it pulls off on me is a rose gold like a pure rose gold color like it's lightweight has a um, reddish pinky like blush tone and then it's like a gold flex in there like a gold holographic in there if you can see it you guys can see that because I can I can now see it I normally can't see my highlighter in the viewfinder but I when I was applying this on I was so like oh my god oops did I apply too much and I was like oh my god this is really pretty I don't really apply highlighter I came into the highlighter game very late a lot of my girls, my coworkers, put me on it, and they were just like, you need to do it. It's going to change your life. I was like, hell no, I'm never going to do it. And then, look what I'm doing. Next, we have the color Fuego. Everybody wanted this. I'm going to swatch this. Oh, I'm so... Like, I normally don't swatch things, like, right away, you guys. If you follow... If you've been following me from the very beginning... Um, even though I didn't really have much of a beginning, you guys know I don't swatch a lot of things. I like hoard them and they just collect us in my collection. And I wait until like a year to use it. So, any as you can, can you, can you all see that? Like, can you, can we all just, can we just, I literally just went, nope, swipe. I mean, let's blend it out, shall we? Let's, let's blend it out a little bit. Dude, look at that. Mmm. I can't wait to use this. I knew I was going to be excited about this one, so I knew I didn't have to really, like, try it on. I just really wanted to try something out of the box, something that I wasn't really used to. But Fuego, I already know I was going to love and love and love. Just about the eyeshadow palette, though. On the packaging, I thought it was going to say the girls, like, because that's what the um, palette is called. But it doesn't say it on there. I don't know if they're going to change that when they release the product again back in September. But it just um, says 4 pan eyeshadow palette. And on the top it will tell you the names of the eyeshadows. But other than that, no. Like, I thought like there was going to be a little logo that says the girls in the back but it just says the eyeshadow I mean that's something super like you know minimal and like of course it would like pay attention to detail if you don't care about that then it's fine but I was just hoping that it would say the girls on it I've already used two colors in this palette I use Sue's in my inner corners and I use Harpoon in my or on my lid actually so I applied the, the um, 
Harpoon shadow or shade with it my finger. I felt like that was best for how I would apply it. Of course you can do the shadow brush and just pretty much wet it with your Max Max Mac Fix Plus and then you know or water whatever you please but I loved using my finger with it. It was just easier for me to blend. The only comment that I have about it though is that if you're that person who has a heavy hand like I do and you tend to rub at your eyes so if you're picking up the product and you're just like not only patting it on but you're kind of rubbing make sure that your eye is kind of closed or um, it's not getting into your actual eyeball because it is chunkier like a chunkier consistency like I don't know why but like I when I felt the eyeshadow go into my eye like it stung like it didn't just like like ow oh, there's something in there or like you know when you feel something in your eye it, you can just feel like the texture and it doesn't really hurt but it like stung like there was like alcohol in my eye. So just keep that in mind. But honestly, other than that, I love it. I love that this is a palette where I could just bring with me um, and my transition shades separately because just like Kitty and Desi, I have my own set of transition shades when it comes to my eyeshadows. I kind of already know what shades I wanna use in my transition. So my overall, rating on this like collection in general um regardless if it was made by katie or desi i mean the fact that it was made by katie or desi already gives me an 8.5 the packaging the rose gold is another 0.5 like the nudes and the matte nude packaging just makes it feels like sleeky deaky as desi would say it it's perfect that they did the see-through with the lip gloss because you want to see this. This is this is amazing. You want to know what's in there. You want to see that 24 karat magic gold in there. The packaging ugh, for their highlighters and their eyeshadows. Whew, just everything overall. Like I'm going to be that person that puts everything back into their boxes. Because I'm just that person. The prices for everything fairly priced dose of colors and their pricing with their lipsticks their eyeshadows their highlighters they got highlighters oh i feel like dose of colors in my eyes is a high-end indie brand is is that just me or is that just me i just like that's how i see it and the pricing for all of their products is fairly priced for pretty much everything like I honestly bought them full price. I don't get, I'm not sponsored by Dose of Colors. I buy things with my own money. So just saying, you know. So long story short, I am pro Katie and Desi Dose of Colors collection. That's, we're just, we're, we just, we're going with it. I'm gonna be, yeah. I hope I don't run out of these things before the like end of the year because we're gonna be really sad. I'm gonna be really sad. I, I don't want to finish it. That's the thing. Like, if I finish it, then that means I have to throw it away. But if I don't throw it away and it's finished and it's just sitting there, can I bring it back? Can I back to Dose of Colors? Like, back to Mac? 